Hey everybody and welcome to Paul's Hardware. This is just a quick video because I need to keep posting videos to my channel because um, people have been asking for it. But anyway, I'm out in the living room. It's Sunday. We've just been doing some cleaning and whatnot today. And my channel is called Paul's Hardware and uh, I, I want to keep focusing on hardware and eventually what I want to do is bring in actual new hardware for you guys and do unboxings and everything. Uh, but that's still sort of in the works. Uh, it's kind of Paul's Hardware beta for right now. But uh, I did at least want to share something with you guys, so what I'm going to do is go over my sort of home theater living room system that I have set up and configured. Um, so first off, there's my uh, TV, TV slash monitor. It's a 47 inch JVC. Uh, I got a fantastic deal on this because it was actually it had some shipping damage which you maybe can't even see, it's up at the top. It's like a tiny little crack and the stand was busted. But because of that I got a fantastic deal on it fortunately because otherwise there's no way I could have afforded a TV that big. I just had to wall mount it. So I got a little Rosewell wall mount going on in the back there which is probably pretty dusty. Down here we have sort of the center or whatever things attached to, which is my Onkyo receiver. Um, do I even know what this is? What's the model on this? Ah, okay. This is my Onkyo AV receiver, HTR960, which is uh, pretty overkill for my current apartment because it's like a 7.1 surround sound thing. Actually, two of the speakers are over there not even being used. I've got it set up for 5.1, so there's a couple on either side here, and uh, we also have uh, center channel there. Also have rear channels in the back, over there and over there, and uh, those, those were great, but uh, eventually maybe we'll move somewhere bigger and actually be able to set up a 7.1. I uh, also have Xbox 360 down there, that's just a little 4 gig version. Uh, and also, which you probably also maybe can barely see, is my home theater PC. It's right next to the Xbox. Tiny little guy, it's kind of the same uh, type of build that you might have seen in the original home theater PC build video that we did on our YouTube channel on Newegg. Uh, that works great. I've, I've actually kind of forgotten the specs of it, but uh, it's an Intel Core i3-2105 Sandy Ridge processor in there. It's got like 4 gigs of 1333 memory and it's just running on the uh, HD 2000 graphics. But that works great for Blu-ray playback and everything. Use that a little bit. Also use the Xbox so somewhat infrequently, but uh, we do have that available. We've got HD PC. This is the little IO gear board. And uh, something about IO gear, I, I really like IO gear because I lost a little nub for this board, for the keyboard, wireless keyboard. It's also got like a trackball up there and, and mouse clicker, so it's a keyboard and mouse all in one. Great for a home theater PC. And I emailed them about like buying a replacement little nub, the little wireless nub, and they just sent me one. Like no problem, sent it over. It was pretty fantastic of them. Anyway, uh, also of course the uh, Xbox 360 controller, assortment of of uh, remote controls here for the TV and the, and the home theater PC and the uh, Uverse cable box which is down there. So using Uverse. Yeah, that works good. Also the Xbox Connect uh, sensor right there. Great for Dance Central. If you guys want to take a look at my assortment of old movies and everything. Like we got PlayStation 2, we got Xbox, Xbox 360 down there. Some of my favorites. Predator. Is a favorite. Get Shorty is a great one. Of course, we have the Lord of the Rings uh, Blu rays here, as well as the Harry Potter Blu rays, original Family Guy DVDs. Off to the side, you guys might have noticed I have just sort of a lonely monitor sitting over there. That's because I, sometimes I do little builds out here. Uh, I just kind of set them up and I've got some plugs set up over there so I can just kind of plug in a computer if needed and set it up for configuration and everything. But that is uh, pretty much it for my uh, current home theater system, as you can see. Okay, here's a little bonus footage actually. So you guys uh, have probably already seen my wife's computer, the orange computer in the NZXT 410 case. Uh, I've shown that here. I've also used it for several new like TV videos on Windows 8. Uh, but just in case you're wondering, over on this side of the room is my wife's old computer. So, as you can see, she's sticking with the orange theme. This is also an NZXT case that she originally found. It's kind of more of a copper color, but it's got it's got a pretty funky look. It's fairly unique. We've kind of liked it, um, but you can see she's got a, a Vertex 2 SSD just kind of hanging loose in there. Uh, Hyper 212. Uh, I 
did sort of a custom fan at the back to kind of fix up the airflow in the case and swap some of the front. So this has been working really great for her. Um, in case you're wondering what's inside, I also sort of forgot. So <laughs> it's a Core 2 Duo E8500 and also a Asus P5ND motherboard. So old socket 775 setup. She's uh, due for an upgrade and the new one should suit her just fine. So thanks a lot for watching this video, everyone. Uh, welcome and thanks to all my new subscribers. Also, thank you guys to all the OG subs as well. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time on Paul's Hardware. Look guys, even more bonus footage. See, my wife is making lumpia, which means I win.